Today, I would like to tell you the story about an extraordinary man whose life and work changed the entire world. We'll also explore his childhood, greatest inventions, personal life, and the reasons behind his mysterious death. Rudolf Diesel, a German engineer and inventor, the creator of the diesel engine. He was born on March 18, 1858 in Paris, France, into a family of German immigrants. In 1870, he moved to Germany, where he studied mechanical engineering. Eventually, Rudolf became one of the most outstanding engineers and inventors in history. His diesel internal combustion engine had a tremendous impact on the development of industry and transportation. Childhood and Youth Rudolf was born in Paris. His father, Julius Diesel, was a mechanical engineer, and his mother, Emma Diesel, was a homemaker. He was the eldest of three children. A curious and intelligent boy, Rudolf often spent time in his father's workshop. At the age of 10, he built his first steam engine, read extensively, and constantly developed his skills. During his school years, Rudolf Diesel was an excellent student and even received a bronze medal. In 1870, he moved to Germany, where he studied mechanical engineering at the Polytechnic School in Augsburg. During his studies, he continued working on inventions, and in 1878, he received a patent for his first internal combustion engine. After completing his education, Diesel worked for various engineering companies. In the 1880s, he went to Paris, where he worked for the Lavoisier Donnecky Company, which specialized in internal combustion engines. This period in Paris was a crucial phase in his career and allowed him to continue his research in engine development. Rudolf Diesel's greatest achievement was the development of the unique internal combustion engine, the diesel engine. This type of engine uses air compression to ignite a prepared fuel mixture. These engines are more efficient than spark ignition internal combustion engines and can run on various types of fuel. The diesel engine operates on the principle of air compression and fuel self-ignition. This leads to higher compression ratios and more efficient fuel use compared to gasoline engines. As a result, diesel engines have a higher thermal efficiency and lower fuel consumption. Versatile applications? Diesel engines have been used in many fields, including automotive, marine, railway transport, power generation, mining, and more. This made them a vital component of industry and the global economy. Diesel engines can run on a wide variety of fuels, including diesel fuel, biodiesel, marine fuel, and others. This allows them to be adapted to many conditions and requirements. The invention of the diesel engine significantly improved transportation and industrial processes, reduced fuel consumption and emissions, and had a major impact on the global economy. It became Rudolf Diesel's most important achievement and laid the foundation for the development of modern diesel engines, which are widely used around the world. Rudolf Diesel began work on his invention in the 1880s. He was inspired by the work of people like Nikola Tesla and Jean-Joseph Etienne Lenoir. Diesel aimed to create an engine that was more efficient and economical than existing internal combustion engines. The inventor began by developing a theory of how the engine would work. He hypothesized that fuel could be ignited in a cylinder by compressed air rather than a spark. This was a revolutionary discovery that enabled the creation of a more efficient and economical power unit. In 1893, Diesel received a patent for his engine. That same year, he founded the company Diesel Motor and Gesellschaft, DMG, to start production. Initially, diesel engines were expensive and complex to produce and had lower power output. Over time, his engines began to be used in industry. They provided a reliable and efficient source of energy for various types of machinery. In the early 20th century, diesel engines began to be used in automobiles. These engines provided power and efficiency, making them popular in the trucking and commercial vehicle sectors. During World War II, diesel engines were actively used in military technology such as tanks and ships. This contributed to further development and improvement of the technology. Diesel generators and stationary engines became an important energy source for various industrial and commercial applications. In recent decades, there have been significant technological advancements in diesel engine design. They have become cleaner and more environmentally friendly, thanks to technologies like emission-reducing filters and more efficient control systems. Today, diesel engines are widely used in industry, transportation, and agriculture. They are used in cars, trucks, ships, trains, agricultural machinery, and industrial equipment. Rudolf Diesel was married twice. His first wife was Martha Flesch, whom he met in 1883. They married in 1885 and had three children, two sons and a daughter. 
In 1900, Martha died of heart disease. Diesel was devastated by her death. He dedicated his book, The Diesel Engine, to her. In 1903, the inventor married Emily Langerman, with whom he had no children. Nevertheless, Diesel remained devoted to his family and enjoyed spending time with them. He was a good father and a caring, loving husband. Diesel was a passionate and driven person. He was fascinated by science and technology and always strived for new discoveries. He also loved music and art. One of the problems he faced was an economic crisis that led to rising oil prices and cheaper coal. As a result, diesel engine sales declined and the inventor was forced to pay fines. It took a long time to recover from this difficult situation. The Tragic Death of the Inventor The death and disappearance of Rudolf Diesel remain a mystery to this day. The official cause was suicide, but some believe he was murdered. A small disclaimer. Thanks to everyone who's already supported the channel. If you believe in stories that dig deeper, that honor history, craft, and creativity, consider supporting the channel. Even a small donation helps keep these films alive. Now we're returning to the story. On September 29, 1913, he boarded the steamer Dresden in Antwerp, Belgium. He told his assistant that he was heading to a meeting with business partners in London. Diesel never arrived at his destination. His body was found in the North Sea ten days later. There were no signs of violence on the body. However, in his pocket, a note was found stating that he was tired of life and wanted to die. During the investigation, it turned out that his name was not listed in the ship's registration log. Yet, that evening, he had been in good spirits and, after dinner, retired to his cabin to rest. After that, no one saw him again, and in the morning, his cabin was empty. Eventually, a drowned man was found, but due to the state of decomposition, Diesel could only be identified by his personal belongings. Many believe the cause was suicide, as the inventor was overwhelmed by financial problems. His company, Diesel Motoren Gesellschaft, DMG, was struggling and constantly under pressure from investors. Others are convinced that Diesel was murdered. They claim the suicide note was forged and that his body was thrown overboard. There are several theories about who might have wanted to get rid of the inventor. Some believe it was competitors who wanted to stop the advancement of diesel technology. Others suspect political enemies who wished to retaliate for his support of Germany during World War I. The death of this genius was a shock to the world. Nevertheless, Rudolf Diesel's diesel engine remains one of the most important inventions in history and continues to have a profound impact today. He was a man of strong character, determination, and perseverance. He was passionate about science and technology, and always pursued new discoveries. His death was a tragic loss, but his legacy lives on in the form of the diesel engine, which continues to change the world for the better. Share your thoughts about this man's story. I'd love to read them and learn something new. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. If possible, consider supporting the channel. It helps me make more videos and share them with you. Thank you for watching, and all the best. See you next time.